What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video from Citizen X and this is going to be the next video in my series of upgrading the Trig Key Mini PC. So today we're going to be looking at how to upgrade the RAM on this thing. It's really simple so let's just start off as always by turning the PC over and unscrewing the four screws on the back that are sort of hidden inside the feet of the machine, the rubber feet. Once that's done, you can use this little rubber tab to help pop off the back cover. It just pops off very simple like that. Now, if you've got an SSD in there, you can begin removing your SSD just by sort of pulling it out. If not, then don't worry, you can move on to the next step. Some people might not even have this um, expansion slot in there. I think different versions of the Trig Key PC uh, came with this and other versions didn't. But if you do have it, it's very simple. We've just got to take out four or three or four screws and remove the SATA adapter here. Again, don't worry, all the screws are exactly the same in this PC, so it's not like you're going to have to worry about remembering which ones go where. Let's just start unscrewing the screws as shown in the video. So once you've got the screws out of this SATA adapter, it does come apart in two little parts. There's a little black um, top plate that, that just comes straight off. Just sort of push that to one side and remember which way it goes on, but I'll show you in the video anyway. And then we can continue removing the rest of the screws. Now, the actual SATA adapter there is held on by a ribbon cable, so don't try and pull that off. Um, you can disconnect the ribbon cable if you like, but it isn't necessary. Um, I tend to not like messing with ribbon cables, so I've left it there. Now, once the four screws are out, you can just lift up the plate, and then there's one connector under here, like you can see this white connector, that just powers the fan. So what we'll do is very gently, very carefully, just wiggle that connector up, and then we can remove the plate altogether. It's very simple. Just be gentle when you're doing this. Don't rush. Take it easy. And here we are. We've got access to our two sticks of RAM. Now, if you don't have two sticks of RAM because you are upgrading this thing, then of course you have less. But it's very simple to remove these and um, insert these. So I'll show you how to remove them now. There's two tabs either side. You just want to sort of slightly push that to the side and then slightly push the other one. You'll hear a little click and then you can very gently pull up and the RAM stick comes out. Now you can see here the RAM sticks have this little notch in the middle of uh, the, these golden pins. That is so that the RAM will only go in one way. So if you match up the notch um, on the RAM stick with the notch on the socket, as you can see there, the RAM will always go in correctly and it will only go in one way. Now, this is the scary part. You'll feel a bit of resistance here and it'll almost feel like you're going to snap it. Just very carefully push down as long as everything's in place and you'll hear a nice reassuring click there. The RAM is in. Now, you see me here just sort of pushing that ribbon cable back, pushing the excess back. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't sort of hanging about. So if yours is sort of popped out a little bit, just push that extra bit of ribbon cable back and then we can slot in the connector for the expansion slot here, the expansion disc. Just gently push that in, make sure it's in properly because we do want to make sure this thing's got power. And we do want to make sure that the fan is operating. And then we can just sort of lift the SATA connection out of the way and put the uh, expansion disc back in. Just push that wire out of the way, make sure it's nice and neat. And this thing just sort of, it, it kind of wants to sit back where it is. So you don't have to use much force. Again, very gentle with all this. Line it up with the screws and then we can begin screwing it back in. Now, 
Now, once all the screws are back in to hold the expansion disc in place, we can begin reconnecting the SATA connector or screwing back in the SATA connector. A little bit fiddly here. So you see this black uh, cover, that, that long edge, that long cover goes at the back on the big connector. So you just sort of match the, uh, the big cover to the big connector, as you can see I've done here. Line up very, <laughs> very fiddly here. Line up the screws, hold it in place. I, I'd advise getting your, uh, getting your screw on the screwdriver before you do this, so that once it's in place, you're ready to go. And just screw it back in, not too tight. And then, if you've got an SSD, you can reconnect your SSD. And then we can begin putting the back cover back on. Again, very simple. Those two dots line up with the two dots at the bottom. Give it a nice little push, hear a reassuring click, and then you can begin putting the screws back in and your mini PC will be ready to go. Now I do have a little picture at the end here. It's always good to verify what we've done. So I go, I log into Windows, I go to the system information and I check that the RAM is reporting as 32 gigabytes, which is what I expect, and it is. So that's how you upgrade the RAM in your TrigKey mini PC. Nice and simple. If you like the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video.